Hi guys, it's Queenie here and today I'm going to bring you my go-to hardcore build that I do a lot of farming with and a lot of running around the open world missions. Um, probably asking have I done the hardcore raids before? A long time ago I did the Dark Hours raid which was very scary. I've only done it once. Uh, unfortunately to my stupidity it died so I redid my hardcore character. I've Got it all the way up to Shade 1000 this time. Been very careful. And it's come close to dying. But after that heart attack, I switched it off, turned it, not played it for a while, and now I'm back in the hardcore. And I'm trying to put a hardcore raid team together for PC. Uh, let's go with the build before I talk you to death about hardcore, because I think I drive my friends crazy with it as it is. Um, let's go with the build. Wait. Uh, I use a D50 pistol. And you see the regulars there, I have done Iron Horse, but not a full hardcore Iron Horse raid. My wonderful friends have basically carried me on being my bodyguards all the way through that raid. Um, I use the Scorpio. It's got fifteen percent shot gun damage, twelve percent damage to armor, ten percent crit hit damage. So I wouldn't mind a Scorpio with damage attack out of cover on the bottom attribute. See that on the second Scorpio I got it's still crit hit damage. Anyways, it's the talent set to shock. Shooting the target applies stacks of venom, which lasts for 10 seconds. Increasing stacks adds more severe debuffs to the target. One is poison, three disorienting, six is shock, which is fabulous. Seven, target takes an additional 20% damage from all sources. Stacks no longer increase. Duration of status effects is based on the percentage of the pellets hitting on the applying shot. I have my famous. Unfortunately, it's not fully optimized. I've got 9.1 assault rifle damage. I've got 21% health damage. I have 7.2 reload speed. Uh, let's start with a mask. I use a bellstorm mask, which gives me an extra 1% armor regen. I have skill damage and armor regen rolled onto it, along with 11% protection from elites mod. I would love to have a 13 on there. Uh, I have a wyvern chest piece. It's got skill haste, skill damage. I would love to find a chest piece with armor regen on, but I've still not come across it. Uh, I've got 
a 12% protection from leak mod on there and I have unbreakable when your armor is depleted repair 95% of your armor at cooldown 60 seconds I wish it was one second this has been a lifesaver for me because I can play up front and just completely forget that I'm using hardcore when the unbreakable pops I play more carefully I use improvise knee pads with armor core it's got skill damage and armor regen I've got another protection from elite mod on there I use the mental backpack it comes with 13.4 weapon damage an armor core and a skill to you it's got a 11% protection from elite mod on there talent is kill confirmed enemies drop you a trophy on death collecting trophies prefers you both a short to a long term buff the first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped and lasts for 10 seconds as you can see weapon damage is plus 5 armor core plus 10% bonus armor that's a life saver and skills plus 5% skill efficiency for every trophy collected gain an additional 1% weapon damage skill efficiency and 0.1 armor regeneration for 300 seconds maximum of 30 stacks then i have improvised gloves with a skill tier i've got armor regen and skill damage rolled onto it i've also got a protection from elite mods Merigamines. I actually felt lucky because I did a golden bullet with my hardcore character and I got a bunch of name caches and Emperor Guard knee pads actually dropped for me. Until I got them I was just running around with normal Murakami knees with armor regen and skill damage on um, it comes with a skill tier with it being Murakami's which gives me a brand bonus of 20% skill duration um, I think it came with armor regen armor regen so I'll just watch switch out an armor regen for skill damage I use I use a drone and a turret cooldowns is quite lengthy but I've got a five tier skill for them so I'll get an extra 100% damage and an extra 350 health Uh, I currently don't have any mods because I haven't been looking for mods for them and because uh, I run on challenging they're really really quite poor so I'm hoping to get some camp downs with my friends and run my hardcore coder through camp down with the team um, let's have a look at the stats Sure, yeah. I should see. I get 39,258 armor regeneration. 
I also have 56 protection from elites. Five tiers, uh, to skill tier, nineteen point six percent skill haste. To be honest with you, this build actually hits quite hard. I run around the open world with five directives, and. I do pretty good with it, uh, as you can see the footage I'm about to show you. Here we are, five directives. And we're gonna do this control point. I get to here. I get my drawing out. And see here. It really hits quite hard. Forgotten how much I absolutely hate fallen cranes. It, I've actually lost a hardcore character on PlayStation due to this control point. Uh, go down here. We'll take care of these. For continuing with control point. I quite like Trying to get my turret on there, but I'm not gonna. But this car will do it fine. I really do want to try Heroic, but I'm too much of a chicken. Oh look, we got a resource convoy. I'm 
I'm just gonna sneak in here. Hopefully that's not a chunga. Hopefully a world boss doesn't spawn in, normally spawns in round here. Actually let's move this to it, because they normally spawn down here. As you can see, I've just made that look quite easy. 